Well, as you all know from the group, my big game finally came in. I am so excited. I have been watching the FedEx for weeks and I probably shouldn't have because that just added to my anxiety over it. But it's finally here and I gotta tell you, I haven't even opened anything yet and everything looks amazing. I don't even know if it's all fitting on camera and it's probably not, so. Before I get into this, for those of you who aren't familiar with Tea Turtle, Unstable Unicorns, or anything of that nature, let's do a quick backstory. Tea Turtle was founded in 2012 by Ramy Beatty and his team, and since then, they have gone on to create many, many things besides just t-shirts. In 2017, they launched a campaign for their first card game, at least I believe it was their first one, called Unstable Unicorns. After a 30-day campaign, it raised 1.86 million but to have over 33,000 backers to make the game a reality. And it became one of Kickstarter's top most funded games of that year, I believe. Since Unstable Unicorns, Raimi and his team have gone on to create many other games, some of similar nature to Unstable Unicorns and even just different versions of Unstable Unicorns. Two years ago, I backed their campaign for Control and Chaos, which introduced a bunch of new unicorns to the game. They also have a version of the game that is more adult than what you would expect for what looks like a family-friendly friendly game. But in any case, there are also several expansions for Unstable Unicorns. In addition to that, they also have Llamas Unleashed, which plays a lot like Unstable Unicorns, but is very different as far as herd rules. They also have Exiled Legends and its expansion, Runes and Regulations, which is kind of like being in the Homeowners Association, except everything's magical and ten times more chaotic, if you can believe it, and its um, expansion. Daring Contest and its expansions, and a cute little thing called Scram that I have not had a chance to check out yet. I just know it's about cats. And most recently, we now have Here to Slay, which, after another 30-day campaign, was fully funded on February 11th of this year, and over its 38,000 backers, it raised just over $3 million, which goes to show you the popularity of Raimi and his team. So, without getting too much into it, let's get started. Oh god, there is so much here, so let me just get some stuff out of the way real quick. I haven't used pretty much my entire desk, and you can't even see all of my desk. <clears throat> so, first things first. As part of the backer kit, there was this adorable little, um, this campaign was launched during the time of the Australian bushfires, and as part of a relief effort, Raimi and his team offered this exclusive enamel pin, the Cuddle Buddy. At $5 a pin, it 100% of profits went towards the <clears throat> Australian bush, bushfire relief for a group called Wired. And even though I did my research for Raimi, I forgot to look up the wires deal. I will probably just put it down in the description, links and stuff, so that you can educate it. But it is so cute. I bought one for myself and one for my grandmother, and I cannot wait to wear it on my work polo. So, here's the game itself. Let me just get my little awl to poke at the plastic. This is supposed to be magnetic closure, so I gotta figure out how it opens first. Oh, there we go. I'll put this to the side. Yes! Here to slay introduction, you will find one main deck, 134 standard cards, 9 oversized party leaders, and 15 oversized monster rule, 2 6 sided Ooh, the dice tower! It's so small, smaller than I thought it would be, but it is so cute. I cannot wait to put it together. 
will not do it on this video because I'm trying to keep it short, but oh, look at that. Ah, this must be the dye you used for the monster. And look, pink glittery. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Oh man, that fits snug. Yes. The one is the unicorn horn. Oh my God, love it. Here's your heroes. For those wondering, I haven't watched an actual playthrough, but this is kind of like light tabletop. Good for if you're into Dungeons and Dragons, want to get into Dungeons and Dragons, but don't want to get so heavy into the map, I guess. It's a great way to introduce people to that type of game. Look at all these little heroes. Oh, I love it. All the heroes are different are animals. You got the bears. Different kind of bears. Foxes for the rangers. Kitties for the thieves, of course, because cats are little thieves. Unicorn guardians. Rabbit wizards. <laughs> squirrel bars. I just don't see it. Squirrels are... Okay, you know what? I can see it. Squirrels are goofy and so are bards. The druid. The enchantler. Oh my god. They sold me. I love a good pun. I love a good pun. So, the druid and the warrior. These are exclu These were exclusive to the campaign. They're promises, actually, that there's going to be more expansions that can be bought because the expansions that I do have with me, the dragon and the monster, will not be available for retail sale. There was exclusives and yeah, they will not be available at any time else. I love it. I cannot wait to get the warrior and the druid. Destruction spe spells, spell cards and item cards, because you can't have a role playing game without spell and item cards. A particularly rusty coin. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Oh, this thing is sharp. Rusty coin, really big bling. Oh my god, I love <gasps> mask. I love it. Modifiers. There's supposed to be a play this card after any player rolls the dice plus one or negative three. Oh, so you can change someone else's roll. Okay, that makes sense. It affects other players. Challenge. You may play this card when another player attempts to play a hero, item, or magic. Challenge that card. Ooh. Ooh, and there's specific challenges. Wizard, Ranger, Fighter, Thief, Guardian, Bard, and the reference card. Ah, here's the heroes and the monsters. Really careful. I'm so glad I bought that all. It has come in handy more times than I ever can remember. The Brutal Bow, the Veiled Raider, the Mystical Maestro, the Fist of Reason, the Divine Arrow, the Shadow Claw. Look at his two little tail. The Protecting Horn. The Cloaked Sage, the Charismatic Song, love it. And these are the monsters. So in the game, you have to get either six, uh, I think it's like six classes of heroes on your, on your um, board or your field or however they do that, or you slay three monsters. So, Titan Wyvern, Malamemeth, Warworn Owlbear, Dark Dragon King, Orthus, Rex Major, T 
Terra Tuga. <laughs> I love it. Arctic Aries. I like it. Abyss Queen. Anuran Cauldron. Corrupted Sabertooth. I like this. This is the promo image they used when they announced the game would be coming out the next day. The Mega Slime. The Bloodwing. Oh, I love the bat. I love bats. Crown Serpent. And a Dracos. Ooh, I like this. And there's the Dice Tower. Like I said, I will open that later. So there's that. Let's get this out of the way. So this is the Playmat box. It was offered as an exclusive in it is the mats for the various characters. There's the bard, the fighter, the guardian, the ranger, the thief, the sorcerer. Okay, this is one I was looking for. For previous backers of the campaign, they promised the unstable Lee, the unicorn leader. And for it, you got, for anyone who went all in like I did and spent an insane amount of money, we got everything that um, related to the Unstable Unicorn playmat, standee, and the unif oversized leader card. So that's awesome. I love the little horned kitten. The Fearless Flame. I use him as my background on my phone. This is for the Dragon Sorcerer expansion, which is Kickstarter exclusive. And the central mat for your monsters where you put the monster cards. I love it. And this box should hold all the mats, all the meeples, all the dice, and all the standees. As long as you are good at getting everything in there, which obviously I am not, but you know. Come on, get in there. Let's look at the rest of it. We've got the oversized here to slay cards for the leaders and the monsters. And they're color coded. There's black ones for the monsters. Card sleeves for the regular size cards. Go ahead and take these out because once I get them into the bag, I'm not really gonna. These are dice for the Dragon Sorcerer expansion. Since I've already talked about it, here's the Dragon Sorcerer expansion. Calamity Mongrel and the Fearless Flame. Sorcerer Mask. I love it. I just love it. Now along with the Dragon class came these little meeples. For those unfamiliar with the term, meeples is just basically miniature people. Little uh, deals in little deals in the game you used to represent your characters. See the little dragon meeples. Oh goodness. Possessed plush. Oh my god, I want it. 
I want it. Wicked Sea Serpent, Ancient Mega Shark, love it. Dragon Wasp, sweet. Wandering Behemoth, Sapphire Phoenix, oh, I love it. Veminous Gemini, why has that never been thought of before? At least not the name. Scavenger Griffin, Claude Nightmare, Gortelodont, Reef Ripper, Lumbering Demon. Love it. Uh, and here it is. The Unstable Unicorn Party Leader. Got this nifty little acrylic case that I'll worry about getting him out of later, but... I love it. He can be substituted. Most of the party leaders have an ability, but or a class, at the very least, like ranger, um, warrior, druid, all of that. I went through all of that. He doesn't have a class. At the beginning, you may choose another player's party leader card. That skill is then applied to the party, this unstable unicorn, until your next turn, because, of course, he's unstable. More meeples. We've got wizard meeples, thief meeples, bard meeples, guardian meeples, ranger meeples, and spider meeples. I might just keep this. Yeah, this is what's going to be the meeple bag, for sure. They're all so adorable. And it's so proportionate in size. I mean, look at this. It's the bear. And just look, compare, the, compare it and the cat. They, I love it. I love that they thought of that. That's great. for all the dice. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Oh, yes! All the dice for all the party leaders. The red and the orange are suspiciously alike. for all the party leaders. I love the little bag. It's so cute. And last but not least, the acrylic standees. I saved them for last because I knew they'd take a minute. Unfortunately, oh wait, is that a protective cover? Maybe that's what I'm seeing, it's scratched up. Come on. Oh, maybe that's why everyone's reporting scratches. Do they not realize that? Is there one on this side too? People have been reporting scratched up acrylics and that's what I thought was happening here but it's actually a protective film that's getting scratched up. I probably shouldn't have peeled it off just now.
because now it really is just going to get scratched up, but come on. Ah, there we go. And there you go. These stand on the corner of your mats and people know which party leader you got. There's that one. I bet there's a protective film on this one too. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Protection after it's made, and after that, scratches are your fault. I, mean, I might leave the film on the rest of them, but maybe not. I don't know film makes it feel kind of weird. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it may be scratched up, but it's only because of that. It's only that film that's scratched up, not the actual standee. That's cool. So I think I've got like nine of these total. So I won't be going through assembling all of them, but I got the sorcerer, the wizard, Guardian, the Fighter, the Bard, the Ranger, are dual class. There's like, I think he's a wizard and a bard. The mystical maestro. I don't quite have all the names memorized. Even though I've been staring at this campaign for months, literally months. There's the dual class. This one's a ranger and a fighter. The dragon wizard, the fearless flame. I like his standing, nice and tall. And the last piece of the unstable unicorn for the backers. Well, that's everything from here to slay. I have three more copies of the Dragon Sorcerer expansion and the Monster expansion as gifts for some friends of mine, but other than that, that's all there is to it. All of this is just for a single game. Again, I probably spent way more than was necessary, but at the same time, I'm glad I did. This turned out great. They raised plenty of money for the... <clears throat> bushfire relief. The quality of these is fantastic. Like I said, the protective film is what's scratched up on these acrylic standees and not the actual standees. But that was a complaint I'd seen a lot in the uh, deal was that they were scratched up. It's actually a film that's scratched up. So that's a relief to know. So, alrighty. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully with some of my friends I'll get to play this soon. Thanks for watching.